Hello, church family. It's September, back to school. Yay, right? Or not for many of us. My name is RP. My husband Arthur and I have been attending People's Church for a number of years now. And over the past few years, we as grandparents have had the privilege of bringing alongside our grandson Griffin to Sunday school. Griffin loves Sunday school and he really misses it. Griffin is turning four on September 7th. And what would have been a very exciting day on September 8th for him to go to um, junior kindergarten is um, still to be decided whether he will be um, in attendance or not. I'm reminded of my childhood days when my mom would get all seven of us ready to go to school in September and she would take a long breath looking forward to the few hours of rest and relaxation at home while we went back to the routine and uh, classroom. It is not so this year. For sure, parents and caregivers are facing many challenging decisions um, to be taken. Some parents have limited options, specifically working parents who may not have the choice of um, keeping the kids at home and educating them themselves. Uh, the risks of sending them into um, interacting with other children and the potential health risks weighing against the risks of absence of interaction and um, sitting in front of a computer screen for many hours a day and having to focus on um, studies and doing homework at home. Um, these are all causes for anxiety for parents. My husband um, and I are living in a three generational home with um, our son and daughter-in-law and two, two grandkids, so we can totally relate to this angst of parents. So where do we go for help? Psalm 121 says, My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So I would encourage you all and I'd like to invite us all to utter a prayer to this God from whom our help comes. Father God, whom do we have to turn to but you? Hear our quest, O Lord. Amidst these uncertainties, I pray for the children. I pray for the parents and caregivers and the teachers, all educators. We know you are in the midst of it all. We trust you in all circumstances and we know that all things work together for our good. So I ask that your peace that surpasses all understanding will protect our hearts and minds. I ask all this in the precious name of Jesus. And as Griffin would say after every prayer, together with all God's people, Amen. Have a good day, church.